what matters is, and when you want to compare the milks, okay, um, you want the ones that give you the most nutrition, particularly the most nutrition for the price you're paying. And the problem with these newer alternative milks, there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, my husband puts oat milk in his, you know, coffee. Um, and he, he doesn't do a, a, a reduced TRE because he's, if, he, if anything, he's a hard time keeping weight on. He just does a 12 hour. Anyway, and he has uh, oat milk. And, but so what you want to do is which one of the milks has the best nutritional profile. So it's, it's not even a contest overall vitamins, minerals, protein level. It's going to be plain organic soy milk and then cow's milk. But you know, some people are allergic to soy or sensitive soy. Some people are, can't do lactose. I'm one of those. So again, I think the place that these other milks, like the almond milk and the oat milk and the hemp milk, the place they have is for people that for one reason or another cannot do organic plain soy milk or cow's milk. And again, if it's just a little bit in co coffee, I could care less what you use. Cause at the end of the day, even a little, I mean, it's just splitting hairs. I mean, but if you're saying, Oh no, you know, I drink too, I use a lot of milk and I, I'm drinking a fair amount. And then I'm like, well, I think it's better to shift to one of the, the, uh, the cow's milk or the um, organic plain soy milk. And I, always did organic plain soy milk. And that's what I put, you know, if I wanted, um, you know, if I was making oatmeal or if I occasionally uh, was having some kind of cereal or uh, if I'm making cornbread, you know, that was kind of my, my standard milk. 